Hey, what's up, guys? Gonna do another hot sauce video for today. This is the Danny Cash's Red Top Nas. Now, I say Red Top because he also has a blue one, um, which has the blue wrapper and, uh, of course, the blue label, which is a little bit different. But anyway, this one here, obviously, Nas stands for not ordinary sauce in this case. Uh, ingredients on here are red habanero, uh, fresh garlic, lime juice, vinegar, and salt. Um, it says a red habanero mixture with maximum heat content, fresh. So there's the, the packaging is very cool. Obviously what uh, attracted me to this product is the whole packaging, the bottle. I thought it was pretty cool. Comes in just a plastic sleeve here. And these straps you can't remove from the back here, but if you want to, you can slide them off. If you didn't want them on there, but anyway. So here it is, Danny Cash's NOS. Let's give it a go here. Got my again Spyderco Cricket with that nice little curved tip is perfect for these little wrappers. And again, I mentioned this in another video, but the reason I open these, I waste the time to open them, is to show you that there's no trickery. It is the actual sauce. So I'm opening it on film. Okay. Shake it on up. Sounds very liquidity. Liquidity? Sounds very like a loose sauce. It's not thick at all. All right. <laughs> There's actually Teflon tape around the threads there. Interesting. Really keeps everything in. Ooh, smells super hot. We have that. Um, yeah, so here's that Teflon tape. It's kind of getting in the way here. Not sure if I like that that much, but anyway. Let me hold on just a second. Grab something here. Wipe my fingers off. Got a little on my fingers this time, and I'm not going to be stupid enough to touch myself. Or my eye, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's a very runny sauce, very loose. It's just like a straight liquid. Again, that's that vinegar. Um, if I had to guess, it's probably, it's like those Louisiana, uh, Louisiana sauces where you have the cayenne in the vinegar, only this is going to be the habanero in the vinegar. So I got my spoon here. No idea the heat level on this yet, so i going to try to go easy on it. You see it's very runny. And let's keep that there. You can see the little peppers in there. Some seeds. Here we go. Straight away you get that um, same thing, like I said, those Louisiana style hot sauces, the cayenne pepper. Um, heat level is definitely more because it has the habaneros instead of the cayenne, like I said. Um, it's a very dry heat. It kind of hits you right away. It's all over the mouth. Um, tolerable. It's not that bad. In fact, I'm going to do a little more. Ooh. I know I'm going to regret this, but anyway. All right, so I got about three quarters of a spoonful here. I don't want to tip it. Flavor is very good. I actually like the habanero, the flavor of habanero. Um, if they weren't so hot, I'd eat them straight. Uh, it's a very good flavor. Uh, definitely, the more the more you have, the hotter it's going to be. It's pretty hot in my mouth right now. Um, definitely getting it on my lips, on the front of my lips. Uh, very spicy, and I got that hot sauce tingle going on. Uh, tip of the tongue is being affected quite a bit. The very tip of the tongue is just burning on fire. Your lips and the tongue are very sensitive, so. Um, this one I'm not getting a whole lot, well, that's not true, I am getting a little bit in the throat. I can definitely feel that. It's pretty hot. 
I have a cracker just to try to cool off a little. Good stuff though. This would definitely, let me cap it up before I spill it. This would definitely be very good in chili. Huge recommendation in chili. If you're going to a barbecue or something, not only does it pack a lot of punch, but it'd be very impressive to bring along. Of course, the packaging is nice. I'm starting to get a lot of drool now. <laughs> it is hot. It's pretty darn hot. Um, I would say, have you ever had the, the habanero Tabasco sauce, which is just a little bit hotter than the regular Tabasco? It's much harder than that, uh, especially if you have enough, like I showed on the spoonful there. Um, even though you get hit with the heat right away, it takes a couple seconds to about a minute or so to really impact you fully. The heat right now is it's very hot, but it's uh, it's still tolerable. It's still an enjoyable heat. It's not a um, it's not a like uh, knock you over. You know, you're standing underneath the sink, drooling and pouring milk on your face kind of heat. But um, I like it quite a bit. It's uh, it's up there with uh, with a lot of the other good sauces to use to actually get and use. It's not like it's not going to kill you, but it's not crappy. You have all the good habanero flavor there. Uh, like I said, this would be perfect, perfect to bring to like a barbecue or a picnic or something. Um, we have all the heat there. It's a cool package. I really like it. It's definitely fun for uh, hot sauce collectors. And uh, yeah, it's going to give you a nice good uh, kick in the butt. Danny Cash's uh, Red Top Nos. It's uh, definitely one of my favorites now. I'm going to have to try the blue one. To be honest, I don't know offhand what the difference is between the two. But anyway, very, very good hot sauce. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, as always. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, guys.